Previously on Trails in the Reverie, Eustace, Milliam, and Elliot joined the investigation. They also completed Dorothy's request to defeat the monsters in the museum's basement. After meeting with Carl Regnitz, Reed found a mysterious mirror in his pocket. He was forced to wait for Lloyd's route before continuing his side of the story. Our only wish was to be free, for Crossbell to have true freedom. Freedom that no one would be able to take from us again. Behind that wish was one burning desire to be proud once more. We wanted to reignite the pride that everyone in this land held deep in their hearts. It was finally within our reach. All we had to do was grasp it. So why? Why couldn't we? The very picture of a hero. However, Crossbell has no need for you any longer. Now kindly get off the stage. Know your fucking place, trash! We didn't make the choices we did to be heroes. The path we chose was so we could finally a new, a new story, story is in, is motion. in motion. Your, Your fate, fate is but is one, one thread, thread intermingled with many. With many. Now, now, rise, rise from, from your, your slumber. slumber. Was that all? Just a dream? Lloyd? Risha. Oh, thank goodness! You're finally awake! How are you feeling? Are you in any kind of pain? Uh, I'm fine. But where am I? What happened to the ceremony? What about Crossbell's independence? <sighs> Crossbell City was occupied again. By the Ebon Defense Force and their commander. Self-proclaimed Supreme Leader, Rufus Alborea. Rufus! 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 Damn it. Lloyd! Open your eyes, Lloyd! It's all over. Don't give up! Pull yourselves together! This isn't over yet! There are still people here who haven't lost their minds. Take Lloyd and run! If anyone can turn all of this around, it'll be the SSS! <sighs> well... I'm not seeing any other options. All right, let's make a break for it. Split up and get out of the city. Understood. I'll scan for a safe route. I'll go after Kia. Risha, you take care of Lloyd. Got it. So we were forced to split up. I hope they made it out okay. What about Kia and Cecile? They came to watch the ceremony. Are they all right? I'm afraid I don't know. I've gone scouting a few times since the ceremony ended two days ago, but I haven't come across any leads about what happened to them. Or Elia and Sully, for that matter. Oh. Damn it! How could I have let this happen? Protecting Crossbell was my... 
was our duty. Lloyd. <laughs> Staying here isn't an option. I have to see for myself what's happening in the city. Risha, will you come with me? Yes, of course. The boat shack. Lost heroes. Whatever medicine you gave me is doing some really powerful stuff. I was injured pretty badly, but even the worst of my wounds have already healed. But I bet it also took out half of your levels, right? Or was no, that's only for right before the start of a game. It's an ointment made from a recipe passed down for generations between those who bear Yen's name. This was, that was the last I had, sadly. It's powerful, but not a miracle. Your wounds can still reopen. There's nothing it can do, help, uh, do to help you regain your stamina. So try not to overdo it, right? Got it. I really owe you one for using what you had left on me. Okay, let's get moving. Wait, they didn't even let us have... Uh, they didn't even give us everyone else's Master Courses. No! Uh, Reed had access to his friend's Master Courses, so why not us? Come on. Smoke grenade and bell scope. Okay. That sounds like... Get down! They, those look like Zalber uh, Soldats. Indeed, those new Soldats show up in the city after a battle. I suppose you weren't able to see the, the, the moment they arrived. No, I faintly recall seeing them as I was losing consciousness. I'm not sure what to make of them showing up now of all times. Those two look like they were flying in the direction of Tangram Fortress, but why? It's in the process of being decommissioned. I learned that occupying forces set up defensive lines to the east and west while I was scouting yesterday. They have several of those soldats at their disposal as well. Well, that's not good news. That will make it difficult for Erebonia and Calvert to intervene. But regardless, I can't hear any more of them approaching. Let's make our way to the city while we have the chance. There are sure to still be plenty of monsters on the highway, though, so be careful. I will, let's hurry. This way was his ten grand fortress. If only he hadn't fallen into Rufus's hands. I feel the same, but there's nothing that can be done for now. We should stay away from that direction. I won't let Rufus Alvarea get away with this. First things first. We need to see how the city's holding up. Oh Lloyd. This will release our Morka village. Let's keep our sights set on the city first. We need to assess the situation there. Right. But it'd be better to go to the village to stock on supplies, but then again, it could be occupied too. I don't suppose we can use the bus stop. Uh, I guess not. All threats will be eliminated. Okay. Right. Let's go! Shining. Uh, of course! If I use Dragon Claws here, will it force her to move away from, uh, from Lloyd? Well, first I should use Toughness Shield to be safe. Of course! I hope it doesn't have any undodgeable moves. That would be very bad. <laughs> Can't seem to unbalance it. Simple. 
perfect. There. Of course. Hmm. Come. Dead? Simple. Now. There. It's my turn. Let's go! Now! A chance! It's not gonna last long enough, damn it. Hmm. Now! Come on, Risha! Understood. Of course. She still has plenty of insight. Come. Ten. Now. There. It's my turn. It's my turn. Break them. Let's go. Hmm. Arcus, activate. I have to use some items. Simple. Perfect. There. Now! There! It's my turn! We need more EP charges, damn it. This game does not give me enough. Death awaits you! The fact that there's no shop nearby also kind of sucks right now. Come! Ten. Now! There! Perfect! There! Let's go! Hmm. Does we have any... Simple! Perfect! There! Let's go. Right. Right. I'm stealing all those bonuses. Let's go. Slightly stronger counter attacks. Aha! There. Let's go. Okay, still got the insight. <laughs> All taken care of. Nice. That was a lot of experience. I need to keep at it. I wonder who would put that chest there. Dragon Vein. The salt gauge recovers in the field. So that would help if I didn't have any boxes to break, huh? Don't mind me. Haha. -ha. Food 
Okay, cool. Oh no, they saw us. There's another one. This way, quickly. Under the bridge, perhaps? That was close. We're not far from the city, but we can't get, keep getting slowed down. We need to hurry. Ah! Floyd, are you okay? Did your wound open? Stay still, check. No, I'm fine. Never mind me, we need to get to the city. Don't be ridiculous. We need you if we're going to take Cresswell back. What could the collapsing here do? People are relying on your leadership. So please stop disregarding your own well-being. Don't be like Reen. Risha, I... No, you're right. My apologies for shouting like that. Please let me check on your wounds. I need to make sure you'll be okay. Alright, thanks. You're fortunate they hadn't opened all that much. I replaced the bandages. Are you still feeling any pain? No, I'm fine. I'm sorry about how I was acting earlier. I was letting the stress get to me. That must have se it seemed pretty pathetic. Some leader I am. I don't think anyone can blame you for losing your composure. That ceremony was meant to be the moment we spent over two years playing for, only to have the rug pull out from uh, uh, under us again. We're all frustrated, and the SSS did the lion's share of the work. Of course it would upset you the most of all. Come on, I think you're giving me a little too much credit. If I'm being honest, I feel lost right now. I'm not sure what I should be doing. If we make it to the city and assess the situation, how do we fight against an army of Zalber's soldats? Is it even possible to take Crossbow back from Rufus and that Ebon Defense Force? Lloyd, let me ask you this. What is it that matters most to you? Can you truly turn your back in the face of what you hold dear? From Elia. I was hoping you'd notice. It's what she had you deliver to me during Crossbell's last bid for independence. What is it that matters most to you? Can you truly turn your back in the face of what you hold dear? Those words have kept me going over the last two years, no matter how bad things have been. As long as you don't lose sight of the most important thing to you, your path will always be clear. That's what I believe, at least. What matters to me most? Right now, that would be liberating Crossbell. Though I still don't know how we're going to achieve that. What I do know is that the rest of the SSS and all our allies are out there working toward the same goal. So if we can reunite with them and work together, maybe we'll have a chance. I think so too. That was how we made it through our last crisis. And it's how we'll make it through this one. We have to keep believing and focus on what we each can do to help. And above all, never lose sight of what matters to us most. For me, that would be everyone I cherish, including Arkansas. And you too, Lloyd. So please try to be kind to yourself. I'll be right here with you if you need support. Risha. All right. I will. Sorry for worrying you. It's just as you said. All we can do right now is focus on what is right in front of us. It's simple, really. I can't believe I forgot that after all we've been through. I agree that knowing what's happening in the city is a good idea. We just need to be careful. Hopefully, it will give us an idea of what to do next. So I'll give you all the help I can. It's the least I could do for someone who's always accepted me. Whether I was Risha Mao or Yin. Thank you, Risha. I'll do everything I can to protect the things and people we both cherish. And no matter what it takes, we will liberate Crossbell. Of course we will! Lloyd and Risha set for a city once more after a short break. Lloyd's t shirt. It's a nice catch. There we go. Don't take that enemy light. Uh, away. Haha, -ha. you can't follow me down here, can you? I wonder who would put that chest there. Nemesis arrow you are. Nice. If only I had actual actual caster units with me. 
bunch of items. Now please do not touch and carry me. No touchy. Yellow. That treasure chest doesn't appear to have been opened. Lad belt. We're almost there. That's it. That's the city's east entrance. Wait, is that? Yeah, we should probably find an. Uh, 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 is there an underground passage or anything? It's the EDF and more of those soul dots. The figures they set up a perimeter here. There must be several soldiers stationed inside the city by now. Well, let's try taking cover in that area by the watchtower. We should be able to see the harbor district from there. Good thinking. I should have a pair of binoculars in my detective toolkit. You're right, the city is absolutely crawling with them. What's strange is that, like, the citizens aren't even faced by their presence. The curse. It's as if they're completely under a supreme leader spell. Quite literally, I might add, judging by the reaction to that dancer. We can't rule the public turning on us and handing us over to the soldiers. All things considered, sneaking into the city doesn't it seem like the wise option right now, even if we could. That's say, what about the soldats? Where could they have come from? The Black Workshop is supposed to be out of commission, completely. Reed and his friends confirmed it after a war. It shouldn't be possible for new models like those to still be in development. Though now that I think about it, there was definitely something strange about that Asmodine we fought a while ago. The investigation Erebonia conducted on the Black Workshop turned up no record of a soldat like that. Well, that's unsettling. If it were just one unit that fell through the cracks, there would be one- that would be one thing, but an entire army like this. How did Rufus get his hands on so much firepower out of seemingly nowhere? That's enough sniffing around, you filthy rats! It's the Evan Defense Force! A patrol unit? How were they able to swat us this far off the highway? Hey, Bangs and Yin, just as the Supreme Leader had expected. He predicted you would return to scout the area right about now. We've been waiting for you. He read out far ahead. He w was always devilishly cunning. Now why don't you put your weapons down and surrender? The Supreme Leader is merciful. He's even granted you the opportunity to assist in our glorious plan if you take his hand now. We're surrounded! That kills my entire strategy. We'd be happy to assist with putting him in a prison cell where he belongs. Back me up, Misha. I'm with you, Lloyd. We won't lose! It's so luck-based where I win or not. Simple! <laughs> It's my turn! Let's go! Right! Arcus, activate! I'm going! Keep strong! Death awaits you! Perfect! There! Please be dodgeable. Simple! It's my turn! Oh my goodness, there's nowhere to run! This battlefield is tiny! Yeah, keeping toughness shield up just in case. This is so horrible. Why is this battlefield so tiny? Why? Arcus, activate! Simple! Simple! Of course. Yeah, this is 
this is easily one of the worst things ever. Take it out! It's my turn! I'm glad Lloyd has this super defense buff. We don't have any ATS uh, uh, ways to deal with ATS easily. I can't inflict faint on any of them either. Simple. Of course. Keep strong. Death awaits you. Come. Perfect. There. It's my turn. Arcus, activate. Yeah. Thank you so much. Simple. Now, let's go, Lloyd. Got it. Yeah. Oh. It's my turn. My goodness, this is horrible. Let's go. It's my turn. There's nowhere to run for me. Simple. Perfect. Let's go, Lloyd. Leave it to me. Yeah. I won't let you. Of course. Come. Perfect. There! Let's go! Keep strong! Man, this is gonna... Right! Arcus, activate! Uh... Huh. What? There! Of course you gave them all the good shit. Of course. Uh... Simple! <laughs> Right. Oh no, it took out my cat. I couldn't even cast it with shining at all. Are you fucking serious? Now, let's go, Lloyd. Got it. Take a deep breath. I hate this. This is a disaster. It's my turn. It's my turn. Let's go. Oh my god. Death awaits you. Keep strong. I'm going. Now, there. 
Right. Now, come on, Risha. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> It's my turn. It's gonna cast a gun. Fuck you, I'm taking that crit bonus. It's my turn. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Am I you? Impossible. Dang, I was gonna get him off on that crap, but whatever works. I didn't scan them though. I can always count on you. <laughs> if there's a back, I've got it covered. It's right that didn't scan all of them, considering how many t blows we exchanged. Oh well. This is abyss mode. I think scanning should be at least in my worries. How do you like that? They're persistent, I'll give them that. But they have plot armor. We never expected you to surrender easily. But unfortunately for you, your fate was still the moment you came here. HQ respond. This is a 27th Eastern Surveillance Unit. We can't let him call in reinforcements. I'm a step too far to stop him in time. Don't you have your stupid chain ability? Can't just use your chain to grab the phone out of his hands. Sweet dreams. Yeah. This is HQ. Respond. I hope you can imitate voice as well, Lecter. There was a suspicious sighting during our patrol, but uh, it turned out to be harmless. We'll be finishing our sweep shortly. Understood. Return to your post as soon as your task is complete. That should buy us a few minutes, at the very least. That was a pretty close call, huh? Literally. Wh what are you doing here? been a while, Bannings, Yin. I've been looking for you two. Didn't expect to find you so close to the city, though. I don't know whether to call you brave or plain stupid. The Imperial Intelligence Division Scarecrow. What's the, what's the former Ironblood doing here? Don't tell me you have a hand in all this, too. Huh, sorry to burst your bubble, Detective, but you're way off the mark. This has got nothing to do with me and Claire. I knew something was about to go down, but even I didn't see it hitting the fan like this. Hold on. Are you implying that you knew there was going to be a crisis of some kind? Huh, no comment. He has- he always has a hunch. Listen, I came out here to cut a deal with you guys. I have some info that you and your friends might want to hear. You don't mean... Fine, I don't necessarily trust you, but I can recognize that hearing you out is in our best interest. Though we don't like- we won't agree to anything else until we know more. The Freedom then made their way back to the crossroads before any more soldiers could arrive. Lecter provided invaluable information as they walked. Some of the people in the city escaped to Armorica Village. Yeah, a relatively small number, mind you. Still, there were some who avoided being brainwashed by that strange d dance and were evacuated to Armorica. Are you saying that someone helped lead them there? Was it someone from the SSS? Yeah, though I couldn't tell you who. I figure you want to follow up on it if you're playing a Liberate Crossbell. It's not like we have any other leads at the moment, given how little we know about the EDF. I hope Wendy was one of the people who escaped so we can still work on our orbment setups. My instincts are telling me something else is, uh, uh, is going on in your village too. That's why I figured my best play was to find you guys. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. So how about it? Do you buy any of that? It's not like you have a reason to believe me. I wouldn't blame you if you turned me down. No, we accept. Let's start heading for Armorica. Sheesh, that was fast. Don't you think you're being a little too trusting toward a former Ironblood? Who said I wasn't uh, taking everything you told us with a hefty grain of salt? 
The reality is to repress for time and we need a better handle on the situation. If nothing else, your instincts and strength in combat have proven reliable in the past. You'll be an asset for us. Besides, I have faith in our friends. I can't imagine them sitting idly by at a time like this. That's why I know you're telling the truth, whether you meant to, to or not. Helping people is what the SSS does. I have no objections either. Even if this turned this turn out to be a trap, I'm sure Lady and I can handle it. This isn't my first time working with someone I can't entirely trust. Ha ha ha! I should have known you guys would react like this. You don't know when to give up and always find a silver lining. No wonder you managed su su to survive the last couple of years. Well, I'm probably the last person you want to remind you how rough you had it, huh? Just so we're clear, this is just a temporary arrangement based on give and take. We'll do whatever it takes to reunite our friends and take back our home, including getting in bed with you. Fine by me. Here's a fruitful little partnership, Fannings, Yen. I'm looking forward to seeing how far that stubbornness of yours takes you. This road will take us straight to Armorica Village. There are people there waiting for us, so let's get moving. Right. We really need a shop. Gehenna must have frozen over if we're teamed up. There's a first for everything. You didn't have some premonition about this? <laughs> ah, it doesn't work that way. I'm not omniscient, so we just gotta figure this out together. Bunch of potions, and there's something in that red chest, but there's a bunch of enemies too. Just another day for free stuff? Scent makes enemies more likely to notice you, but gives breath and nemesis arrow. And evasion. Whoa, that's actually... could be strategic. Bunch of food ingredients. Run. Run. Oh no! Another luck-based battle. This is nothing! Keep it up! Fools for million! Take a deep breath. Come! Ten. Now! There! I don't mind. <sighs> Simple. Right. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Why are why is our movement always so limited in this game? Seriously. I feel like the field is getting smaller every game. Honestly, toughness shield is probably a good safe bet since the the field is way too small and unpredictable. Keep strong. Why not? There's literally nowhere for me to run. 
Dude. It's my turn. Let's go. Enemy formations are always such ass. Come! Ten. Now! Let's go, Lloyd! Leave it to me! Yeah. Oh. Yes, kill each other. Simple! Perfect! There! Right! Right! Keep strong! Right! Always know where to run, huh? Don't mind. If I could finish you off, that'd be great. Simple. Now. There. <laughs> nice. It's my turn. I think this guy's aimed for Lloyd. That's really bad. But he can't. Be, but he's kind of stuck between Risha and Lecter. Weird. Hmm. Oh! Ah! They're open. Come on, Risha. Understood. Yeah. 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 Simple. Death awaits you! No, they're paralyzed. That's why they couldn't do anything. Okay. So I got my buffs active, so that's good. Come. Ten. Perfect! There! We are dominating this battle. Whoa! That, look, at that, look at that damage, though. Ha ha. gone. Right. Good to go. P petrified. It's basically dead. Uh, it's my turn. Let's go. Let's go. Now! A chance! <sighs> I'm going! Alright, that was a s somewhat successful battle, surprisingly. We've done what we set out to do. Nice! I just got- I, I just got lucky Rishia didn't die within the first few seconds, that's all. I need to keep at it. Gah! Lloyd! Did that battle open any wounds? 
No, most of my blood is still inside. I'm j just worn out. And here I was thinking you'd suddenly lost your touch. But you picked as good a spot as any. Why don't we sit at that rest area? I wish I could suggest we keep going, but something tells me that wouldn't be wise. Sorry for slowing everyone down. Oh, hush, it's not really a problem. Coffee. There, have a coffee on me. Much appreciated. Well, I'd say we're about halfway to the village now. Practically a stone's throw away. No signs of EDF patrols either. Much like when President Croy uh, uh, was in charge, I'm guessing they can't spare the resources for neighboring villages and towns. That'd work in our favor, at least. I'll take anything that helps us reunite our friends as quickly as possible. Yeah, ain't much time to lose. They completely blindsided us with that attack on the ceremony. Who knows what else they can do? Especially considering er everything going on in the past month in the Empire. What do you mean? We lost Liberated Crossbow only a month ago. Don't tell me something has happened since. Behind the scenes, anyway, yeah. For one, someone broke into an RMP guardhouse. Me and Claire had to look into it. The then last week, Prince Oliver and his wife went missing. The courageous they were on and all. The entire courageous? This is news to us. I guess that would explain why we haven't been able to get in touch with Ring get the gang. Oh yeah, you guys use that round the seven thingy for communicating over long distances. That'll be it then. The sonorous seashell was on the courageous when it disappeared, and that system is useless without it. It seems kind of bad for a communication system to have that one single point of failure, huh? As we speak, all our communication with the outside world has been jammed. That's that's why artifacts can be tricky to rely on, since you can't really make another one that easily. Doubt we can count on Class 7 or any of your other buddies outside Crosswell to help us right now. Guess you're right. And you think the culprit uh, behind the chaos in Crosswell is responsible for it all? Yep, Crosswell lies at the center of everything right now. Shame Claire and I didn't realize before Rufus and his men escaped. I pulled out all the stops at least to get myself in the crossbow, but they still got the upper hand. It was astonishing how well prepared they were. Not to mention, I'm maneuvering you and Claire is no small feat. Nami can pull that off. To so tell the truth, the whole thing still makes zero sense to me. I just can't imagine that everything he said was a lie. Even he isn't that much of a weasel. I will be the one to bear the responsibility for His Excellency's actions. It is the best way we can go about quelling the unrest in Erebonia and solving the issue of Crossbell all at once. I can think of no better way for us Ironbloods to honor him. He always has silver tongue. He really said that. So there's no point denying what happened in front of your, your own eyes, so we've got to score a cell. And it's on me to sell it, both for the other Ironbloods who once served under Osborne, and for his kid who can't be here. Huh. <laughs> but to be honest, I've got another more personal reason for wanting to fix this. Crustle's been my favorite vacation spot ever since I snuck in here two years back. The sooner you guys can reclaim your independence, the sooner I can come chill in my party shirt. Will that actually be a costume for you? Heh, <laughs> sure, we'll give her our best shot. We can't afford to rest until everything, everyone is free. It's the SSS's duty to the whole of Crosswell. And I'll liberate Ark and Seal while we're at it. The sooner we can do that, the sooner we can perform again. So we're going to be using you. No, no, you know what? This isn't even the first time you've helped us. You'll have a hand in arresting the former president. So why don't we drop all the talk of using one another and just work together on this? Heh, <laughs> I should have figured you'd say that eventually. Fine, have it your way. I'm cutting on you, Bannings. The same to you. They're due to the whole of Crossbell. After he had rested long enough for Lloyd to recover his strength, the trio set up once more for America. Gotcha! Look at the size of this baby! Sef Space Sepif. Recurio Balm. I'll be taking that. All right, another checkpoint. Vitality Droplet. Oh, who knew we'd get so lucky? The ancient battlefields to the right. It looks completely empty out there. The Empire was using it as a military camp not too long ago. It'd be nice if we had time to check it out, but we'd better keep straight for our Morica. Huh? I got a funny feeling. Yo, emblem. Okay, let's just go to. Wait, can I go over here? That's way to the ancient battlefield. There's no reason to go there right now. I wonder who would put that chest there. La Forte, you are.
Over there! This isn't looking good. Uh, what are we going to do? Don't worry, Pulley! I won't let them hurt you! I'll distract them. I want you all to run for the village, okay? Whoa! What do we do, Camille? Shoot! No one hurts my sister while I'm around! There's too many of them! At the right, things are going! Ellie! Lloyd! Sorry it took us so long. Mind covering our six? We won't let them harm the children. Commencing extermination! I'm sorry, everyone. Okay, playtime is over. Okay, later. Simple. Now, it's mine. Okay, that was pretty bad. Shining self is really the only way to go about this. <laughs> yeah, there, there's no way to avoid everyone fucking dying. Saintly Force. Parkus activate. <laughs> At least this will maximize like, counterattacks, but there's no saving everyone. Awaits you. Is it even worth trying to revive these guys? What kind of? Uh, how much? Do I? Would even get enough turns to do anything? Thanks. Promise it gets set to the bottom of the turn order, so it's actually kind of pointless. He just die again. Ugh. I'm sorry, everyone. It's no way to force him to aggro on Rishia only. At least I can make them attack each other. But damn, this is so discouraging. It's not even worth reviving anyone until, like, there's only one dude left. Simple. Simple. I'm going. Sit 
Bubble. Simple. This is just Rishi. Uh, uh, this is just a Rishi of, <laughs> of course. dating simulator now. That's what this is. Has, game has become because I can't. She's the only one who can really take a turn. And this is bad. I'm gonna have to use uh, pop an EP item. Behold my dance, an illusory offering to departing souls. Sleep, embraced by silver light! Bind! Break! Well, there's no chance of reviving him now. She's just gonna kill the last one. Complete. Now to reset myself. Reset yourself and your friends who died horribly. Yup. <sighs> that takes care of that. You're all unharmed, right? Good job hanging tough for so long, Ellie. I'm glad to see you're all right. show up out of nowhere at the perfect time, and that's all you have to say to me? I was so worried, and I thought I may never see you again. You're not still hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. Sorry that I worried you. I'm so happy to see you again, Ellie. Lloyd, I... Whoa. They must really like each other. I think we should give them some privacy, Polly. Huh, so this is the guy you're, we're talking about. I'm glad you're back to Gar. Well then. There are children watching, you know. Don't go corrupting them, officers. We were doing nothing of the sort. Don't make it sound like that. Wait, what are you doing here in the first place? It's kind of a long story. Are you alright? Thank goodness, I was so worried something might have happened. Wait, don't scare me like that. Hold up, aren't y'all? Loy! Risha! Oh! Cecile! Lecter tipped us off that an SSS member was in Armorica, but I never expected to run into you too, Cecile. I'm so glad you're alright. It's so good to see you're okay too, Lloyd. I'm sure you must have gone through a lot to get here. I didn't know what to think after the injuries you sustained at the ceremony. Yeah, but I'm doing better now thanks to Arishia. I wouldn't have made a hero without her, or a lecture for that matter. I wasn't expecting to get a shout out. You know you don't owe me anything. It was your information that led us in our Morica village in the first place. It's good to see that so many people from the sea were able to escape to here. Yes, it wouldn't have been possible had the CPD and CGF not drawn the enemy's attention. Then again, it's Kia, isn't it? You don't know where she is either. Oh no. Unfortunately, we were separated from her during uh, all the confusion of the city. I'm so sorry, Lloyd. I was standing right next to her all t at a time. It was, so it was my responsibility. I shouldn't have let this happen. Please, Cecilia, you don't have to blame yourself. It's not your fault. If anything, I should have... I... Uh, Ellie. We're all worried about Kia, but we need to have faith in her. I'm sure she's okay, and I know we'll find her eventually and bring her home safely. There's not a doubt in my mind. Lloyd's right. Let's take Sauls and how many people were able to escape from the city. If they're okay, then I'm sure Kia is too. I can't begin to describe how it feels to know Sean Sean and Speaker McDowell are okay. I was especially worried about Sean Sean this whole time. Yeah, think of it this way. We're off to a good start knowing some, some of our friends and family are alright. But I don't want to make light of the injuries Speaker McDowell suffered. Sounds like he took a stray bullet to the shoulder. Is he going to be okay? The doctor said he should be fine, fortunately. The bullet passed through, so it didn't cause much damage. 
But given his age, he's going to need plenty of rest of the clinic for now. That's probably for the best. I wouldn't want him pushing himself too hard for our sakes. That's right, your grandfather will be okay, Ellie, so long as he takes time to recover. He's in good hands with Dr. Lin. And try not to worry too much about where Kia is, alright? I'll try. Well, I'm going back to, going to go back to help at the clinic. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Cecile. We will. My apologies. I know there's no sense in being gloomy right now. The children left the village because they wanted to find a way to cheer me up, and you all saw that almost turned out. You shouldn't blame yourself for that either, Ellie. I'm sure they wanted to help the entire village and not just you. But... I hate to change the subject, but I think I'm going to go do my own thing for a while now that we're, we've made it to the village. Yes, we could all use some downtime. I'd like to go catch up with Shan Shan and see how she's doing. She's at the inn, isn't she? Yes, that's where the other refugees from the city are saying as well. She's been worried about you too, so I'm sure she'll be happy to spend some time with you. That sounds like her. I'll go do that then. I'm going to go check in on the speaker and see if the folks in the clinic need a hand. Give me a holler once you two are done with the heart-to-heart -heart you're about to have. What was that? I guess that was their way of leaving this in my hands. Hey Ellie, could I interest you in to walk around the village together? I want to get a better idea how the villagers are holding up. I suppose we could do that. Our Murka may have to be our base for operations for a while, so we should go say hi to Chief Tola as well. Good thinking, let's go then. I can't deny- Kit and I got a bit panicked when we couldn't find the kids anywhere. Also it ends well though, it's a good thing Miss Ellie was looking out for them. I've been so shook up since what happened in the city that I haven't been in the frame of, uh, frame of mind to think of anyone by myself. Everyone in the village was so happy to hear Crossbow was finally going to be independent. Then we heard the terrible news on the radio, and the next thing we knew, Speaker McDowell was being carried here. It's hard to keep our spirits up after all of that happened in the blink of an eye. I don't know how we would keep it together if not for Ellie and the clinic workers. They haven't abandoned hope, so we, neither can we. Thank you so much for seeing my son and the yard children earlier. Your friend came by earlier and carried a lot of heavy medical supplies into the clinic too. It makes me wonder if he has experience working in healthcare. He seemed to know exactly what supplies we needed. It was a blessing, really. You've all been such tremendous help since you arrived. So that's what Lecter's been up to. He seems to have been ca uh, as caught off guard about what's happening in Crossbell as the rest of us. I think we can trust him for now. Well, 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 look what we have here. It isn't the SSS's Lloyd Bannings. You're a, pho a photographer from Erebonia, if I remember right. That's right, I'm surprised you remember someone like me. I've been in this village the last couple of days trying to scope things out. I figured I had to be in the thick of things if I wanted to keep an eye on the sea and the guardsmen. So here I am trying to figure out the gaps in the patrol routes to find a way to sneak in. I bet I'm not the only reporter sniffing around either. If you ever believe my scoop is going to be the best? I should have known. The press really is the same in every country. <laughs> Crazy as times are, this place always manages to put my mind at ease. I know what you mean. Especially so, now that I know you're safe. Why don't we take a look around? I thought Leaf was finally going to begin calming down after I returned from the war half a year ago. I can't believe I've seen Crossbell been, uh, be occupied for a second time. I wonder if we're ever going to escape from the Empire's shadow. Lloyd, good seeing you again. Did all of you evacuate as well? Something like that. Is it just the two of you here? Where are the others? Well, everyone was headed out of town to fish when the signing ceremony was supposed to happen. We were split up once people started to evacuate. I wouldn't have managed to get away if it weren't for Copan. We were supposed to have so much fun together. Why did it come to this? It's gonna be okay, Salem. I don't know what to do. I didn't know what to do when I was trapped, but I still managed to come home to everyone. So I'm sure as long as we don't give up hope, we'll be able to fish together again someday. Yeah, you're right. And this is my hometown, so I'm sure there's plenty I can do to help. That's the spirit. I can combine my fishing skills and the survival technique I learned in the army to pitch in too. Well, and they're in high spirits. Inspiring, isn't it? Let's follow the lead. It's a nice catch. Rock Eater. Sepeth Earth. Thanks again for saving us earlier, guys. All the grown-ups and Mr. McDowell have been looking really sad, so we wanted to cheer them up with some flowers. We were going to pick some of the pretty flowers just outside the village. Yeah, we didn't think we'd have to worry about monsters if we didn't wander very far. We're sorry we caused so much trouble. Oh, you don't need to apologize. Just be more careful next time. Okay, but, um, we still want to give you these. We asked Jake to help us get them. Honey syrup. Wow, we really appreciate it. I'm sure you guys have a lot of stuff to do, so we thought these might help you out. How thoughtful. Thank you so much. Jake officially took over the store last year, but then he got drafted just as he was starting to get comfortable. This year was supposed to mark a fresh start. Now all of this had to happen. 
I was doing my best just to watch over him and let him figure it out, but Adios helped me. I hope we stay strong. I'm just not feeling anymore. I thought I was ready for this when Gramps turned the sword over to me. I was going to use the hype around the signing ceremony to promote some new honey, but it was all for nothing. Now the mood around here is no different than it was leading up to the war. It was reminding me of what it was like when I was drafted. That's not a fun memory. Hey, special support section. Good seeing you. You're Tolta son Derek, right? It's good to see you again. What's in all the large boxes? Supplies. We're going to share them with all the refugees from the city. I asked the villagers to donate goods they weren't using as I searched the storehouse. Let us know if you need a place to stay, too. We'll be happy to get a room ready. Oh, don't worry about the soldiers. We'll tell them you're not here if they come by again. We've been prepared for the worst ever since Speaker McDowell was carried here. What's harboring a few wanted criminals? Huh, that's one way to put it, but thanks, Derek. We owe you. We'll do everything we can to repay your hospitality. It's truly reassuring to know we have our backs. Who does that asshole Rufus think he is, waltzing into our city and acting like he runs the place? Why can't we just have freedom already? Is that ever going to happen? Hey there, Ellie. How are you feeling? Hello, Gofan. I suppose I'm hanging in. I'm more concerned about the evacuees. How are they doing? It's hard to say, really. The people who came from the city are feeling more uneasy than any of us. I'm happy to open up all our rooms, so we only have so many. It isn't ideal for all of them to have to share. That's very true. I'm sorry for the burden we've, we've undoubtedly placed on you. You've got nothing to apologize for, Ellie. You did the right thing. I'll do what I can to keep them comfortable, like making them snacks in my spare time. It's not much, but it's something. It's easy to overlook how stressful the situation must be for the evacuees as well. We need to resolve this as soon as possible. I opted to stay here for the signing ceremony because I thought it would be too crowded. Boy, that was that a good decision. Too bad for me that the city being occupied means I can't visit a local library either. Luckily, I checked out a lot of books last time I visited, so I'll have plenty of reading material. I've been letting a few of the evacuees too. Sunshine Agnes has been coming back into popularity. It's just the right series to take your mind off of all this gloominess. Keith and I actually attended the signing ceremony. It was his idea. He insisted on going and said he'd help out around the inn if I agree to go with him. I don't know what would have happened if Ellie hadn't been there. She's the reason we were able to make it home at all. Ever since that day, it keeps an acting kind of strange. Did he get cursed? As if I don't have enough to worry about right now, I hope it'll be alright. I thought my plan to use the ceremony as an excuse to take Celia on a date was actually going to work. But it was all totally blessed thanks to the old governor occupying the sea. Why do I even I ever even bother hoping things will work out? Hope just leads to despair. Where'd Mommy Daddy go? We haven't seen them in three days. When are they going to come and get us? My sister and I were separated from her parents during the evacuation. Neither of us have been to our Morica village before, but I'm going to do my best to look after her. I can't mess it up. You're with the special support section. I didn't know you were here. You're Pearl, right? It's been a long time. Yes, I used to work at the Times Department store and married Scott the Bracer. He still talks about how much he owes all of you. We came back to Cross Spell, hoping to raise our baby here now and that peace has returned. And now this has happened. I'm sorry, I know Sulking won't fix anything. You must have enough to worry about. Scott wouldn't want to hear me being so negative after he helped us escape. I don't think we can blame one another for being frustrated at a time like this. He's right, we're going to do everything we can to restore the peace your family was looking forward to. I know it's easier said than done, but try to put your mind at ease. No, that's plenty. Thank you. I'm so glad you're alright, Risha. First I was separated from Daddy, and then you disappeared. I was worried sick about you. I'm sorry for worrying you, Sansan. I'm so relieved to see you're all right, too. Risha, don't ever leave me like that again. Because as long as you're here, I feel like I can overcome anything. I know things may seem scary now, but we can pull through this. You're right. But... I... Well, this is a heartwarming sight. Oh, the SSS. Does this mean you're going to be leaving again? We don't have a plan set in stone yet, but most likely yes. I still don't know where Ilya and Sully are all right. I'll do where I must so that we can perform together again. I thought you might say that. I'm sorry, Shan Shan. Eh, Sun Sun. But I know, it must, I know it must feel like we're ripping your best friend from you after you only just got her back. But there are people who need Risha's help, us included. We need her with us and we're going to secure Crosswell's future and freedom. I know it won't be easy, but we're asking you to have faith in us. We promise we'll take good care of Risha and give her all the support we possibly can. I'm sorry for putting you through so much. I really am. I promise I'll come back safe as soon as I can. And when I do, I'll bring everyone from Long Lao back with me. 
Okay, but please be careful. I'm going to hold you all to that. You had better look after her. We will. Oh no, she's cursed! I should be the one looking after her. Huh? What's wrong, Risha? Were you going to say something? She's going to turn you on Derry because of the curse. No! Oh no, it's nothing. Was that my imagination? The curse has already spread to this village. It's it's over. Risha, you and the others are hanging out now, right? I'll be here waiting for you, so where we do, make sure you come back, okay? So I see uh, Sun Sun's okay. I'm as worried sick about her. I hope Zhang Hui is okay too. Who can even say when the Ebon Defense Force might drop in? Of course we're all worried about McDowell. All the more reason to keep our chins up. We know how hard it must be for you, Ellie, and yet you're giving it your all. Looking after your refugees and protecting everyone from the Defense Force. We have much to learn from your example. It means so much to hear you say that. Well, look who the, what the catcher egged in. The young folk of the village have been keeping you up to date. That includes, of course, everything that happened to see. You folks had it rough. We're sorry for worrying you, Chief Tolda. We owe you so much for taking in my grandfather and the refugees. As the secretary, please allow me to express my deepest gratitude. Come now, lass. Now more than ever, we've got to extend a helping hand in times of need. It was the speaker who fought for us when those goons were trying to set up the uh, convalescent home in the military camp. Not to mention all the times the SSS has helped us in the past. Hey, yeah, we're only doing our job, sir. I'll spare me humility. We've been here ever since. Not once have you abandoned the weak. No, nope, you fought for us all. Huh. That means a lot to me. You okay, Ellie? If you ever need a hand of something, anything at all, you just let us know and we'll come running. We may be a rinky-dink little farm village, but we've got your backs all the same. <laughs> and we couldn't ask for better allies. Thank you so much. There's so many people supporting us, we really can't afford to let them down. I just know we're going to take Cross Spell back and find Kia. Yes, I hope so. So we might ask me... Uh, me uh, 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 might me asking what happened after the ceremony, Ellie? You haven't been yourself ever since we ran into you outside the village. I don't deserve to have the villagers speaking so kindly about me. Not after I turn my back on Kia. What? Please forgive me, Lloyd. It's not Cecile's fault that Kia isn't here. Not at all. It's entirely mine for abandoning her. Two days ago... Ellie! There you are, Kia! I've been looking for you! Yeah, Cecile should be somewhere nearby, too! Is... Lloyd? He'll be fine. Risha's with him. Now come over... <laughs> Run, or you'll get caught up in it! No! Kia! Kia! Where are you? Grandfather! Ellie, go! I'll be fine! We'll see each other again soon, I promise! There are other people who need you! Kia! I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I could have ran to her voice and grabbed her hand, but I chose not to. I don't deserve to call myself her guardian, or even be a part of the SSS. So that's what happened. It's going to be all right, Ellie. Key is just fine. I'm sure of it. Yeah, she seems she still seems to have a, a small portion of her power. She'll probably find a safe place to hide for the time being. How can you be so sure? We've done nothing but force hardship on her ever since we returned from the Azure Tree. While we fought for our home's freedom, she stood by us and helped however she could, despite being separated from her best friend. 
and never once did she not have a smile on her face. No matter how hopeless things felt, Kia never stopped smiling for us. She never gave up. We were the ones who swore to protect her, and there she was again, being the one who protected and supported us, just like always. You're right. She always has. We were only able to continue smiling ourselves because her smile was giving us hope. I think that's exactly what she was trying to do the day we were separated, too. I'll be fine! We'll see each other again soon, I promise! There are other people who need you! I couldn't see her face, but I could feel how desperate she was to encourage me, even though she must have been so scared. How can one little girl be so positive? I'd like to say that's how she's always been, but we both know she's even stronger now than she was before. Kia isn't the same girl she was when we first met. She's no longer powerless to fight against a terrible fate that was decided without her consent. She's one of us now, in every sense of the word. Always with us, always fighting and smiling. In just two years, she's grown and become the Kia Bannings we all know and love. That's why, if she says she'll be alright, and that we'll see each other again, then I know we can believe her. So there's only one thing left for us to do, right? Yes, you're right again. I think deep down, part of me still thought of her as a helpless child that needs us to look after her. I should have known better. Should have seen that as we were getting stronger, she was right there with us getting stronger too. Well, I'm hardly in any position to judge when it comes to being overprotective of Kia. But the thing is, she put her trust in us. So it's only right we do the same thing when she asks, right? You're on fire, huh? Right again. There's so much for us to do right now. The only way we're going to manage is by taking it one step at a time. Kia told me she would be okay, and that there are other people who need me. I'm going to place my faith in that, so I'm sure we'll be reunited as long as we stay the course. That's the spirit. It's only a matter of time before our paths cross again, so we don't want to disappoint her when we meet up. I'd say we owe it to her as her guardians, and as her friends. This is so like you, Lloyd. Always encouraging me when I need it most. It's been this way for a long time, hasn't it? That night on the roof when I thought of leaving the SSS. Even when I decided to become Grandfather's secretary during the occupation. Sometimes I wonder if the only reason I've been able to keep going these last few years is because I knew you were with me. Words can't express how grateful I truly am. I'm flattered, but I don't think I did anything particularly special. I've known for a long time that your future was going to lead you to politics. And I know you'll make Crossbell and the world a better place. So I'm happy to do whatever I can to give you a push in the right direction if you need it. Is that the only reason? I hope the reason you look after me so much isn't just for the good of Crossbell. I thought it would sound cooler if I put it that way. But you got me. I think my feelings are a little more straightforward than that. I want to do what I can to help you realize your dreams because... You're Ellie. You're important to me. That's the real reason. <laughs> Thanks. I know I forced that out of you, so forgive me for being a little selfish. I think that's just what I needed to hear to begin looking forward again. You always make me feel like nothing is impossible, not even getting our home back. Because nothing ever is. And I'll be right here to tell you as many times as it takes. I think we've seen everything there is to see in the village now. Is it time to visit the clinic? It's gonna address the story uh, irreparably. 
There you two are. Hello, hey, Rishio. Finished catching up with the Shanshan? Yeah, so I just want to see how she's doing. It so it didn't take long. You two are going to see Speaker McDowell, correct? Will you mind if I join you? Not at all, and thank you for keeping him in your thoughts. Late Ellie and Rishia entered the clinic as Ellie showed the w them the way to Speaker McDowell's room. I hope he didn't get cursed. Grandfather, it's me. Oh, Ellie, do come in. Oh. It's good to see you again, Mr. Speaker. But are you sure it's all right for you to be sitting up? I do still feel some lingering pain, but they told me just this much would be all right. I owe the goddess my deepest thanks. It brings me joy to see you are all doing well. Particularly you, Ellie. You're looking much brighter than you were before. Well, I... It's true. I do feel much better now. I think Lloyd has something to do with that. I figured, Playboy here wasn't going to let her stay down in the dumps. You know I can hear you, right? Ahem, in any case, I'm glad I hear you're doing better, Mr. Speaker. So am I, but please don't overexert yourself and try to rush your recovery. After everything has happened in Crosswell, I don't know what I would do if something were to happen to you too. She's right, your condition is stable now, but the clinic is short in staff and medicine. The best thing you can do for yourself and us is getting plenty of bed rest. I will, thank you for looking after me. I only wish there was something I could do in return. My powerlessness is simply galling. Please don't blame yourself, Grandfather. I cannot apologize enough to the people of Crestwell for my fellow former Iron Blood's actions. I also wish to make clear that on no uncertain terms that the Imperial government abhors what has ha what happened and was not involved. The illegal occupation of Crestwell is the work of Rufus Alberea and his alone. Fear not, it was not in the impression that Erebonia was responsible for this. I can never imagine Emperor Eugen allowing his actions at this point. It wouldn't make sense for the Empire to stage an occupation of Crestwell now after willingly withdrawing its forces not long ago. Though that only begs the question of why Rufus is doing this. Or why he has collaborators in this Evan Defense Force backing him. I can't speak for two we didn't recognize, but I can't wrap my head around Theodore and Garcia helping him. I thought Theodore learned his lesson, and what- and Garcia- I, wasn't he s still in the Mafia? Did he get paid off? Former CEO of the IBC and an ex Jaeger turned Mafia boss. That's quite the pair of convicts he's working with. Each of them has a personal history of the SSS. I've also crossed blows with the Killing Bears Yin before. Come think of it, he helped you when you were in prison, didn't he? He did, which is why I'm having such a hard time understanding his involvement. They both seem like they were ready to turn over a new leaf. Why do this, Theodor? About that, I had a chance to confront him briefly before I escaped the city. You did? Cecile! He's been shot! Hold on. I need to stop the bleeding. Theodore, wait! It's good to see you again, Ellie. You're looking well. Why? Why are you doing this? What possessed you to play a part in such foolishness? Did you not learn anything from your short-lived presidency? Oh, <laughs> I learned much, I assure you. That is why I am here today. Back then, my daughter played me like a fiddle. But this time, I am following my own convictions. And that is what led me to join the new unified government. You hopeless fool. Uncle Theodore, how can you truly believe that this is the right path? Surely you can see... Looking at you and your friends now, you don't stand a chance against the Supreme Leader. I'd advise you take the time to reevaluate what justice means to you. You and your compatriots both. Really? Is he so on about that? He's always had a raging hard on for that kind of stuff. But. I want you to know you can still trust us, Mr. Speaker. We'll get to the bottom of their motivations and do what we have to to take back Crosswell. We won't allow the independence we've worked so hard for to slip through our grasp like this. That's right, we're not going to give up on our dreams so easily. We can achieve anything when we all work together. The entire SSS. That's never changed. Thank you, it's reassuring to know we have your help. 
And I'm ready to lend my strength to the cause as well. I guess I can lend a hand too. Please take care of yourself, Lloyd. I don't want to have to treat you too. I will, Cecile, promise. Let's go uh, 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 think on what our best course of action from here will be. I'm ashamed there's nothing more I can do for them. They should have shouldered uh, what been, uh, they have shouldered what should have been my burden time and time again. Please don't believe yourself, Mr. Speaker. They're doing what any crossbellion would do if they had the power. Although... I know Lloyd and his friends can take care of themselves, but please... Keep lighting their way, guy. I've been worried sick about my family in the city. I'm trying my best to believe in them and getting a focus on getting healthy. The last thing I want to do is make life harder for a clinic staff on call. There's so much to be concerned about, but I don't plan to sit here and watch quietly. I want to recover as soon as possible so I can begin helping liberate the city again. My apologies for asking so much of you again, but I leave things in your hands until I'm able to get back on my feet. You don't have to apologize, Mr. Speaker McDowell. Take your time and get healthy. Oh, look there. I still need to thank you for your help from before. You checked your temperature and changed the bed sheets in no time. You look like a natural while doing it. Do you have experience? No, not any formal kind. Just know the basics they teach to military personnel. It was just a natural thing to do at the time. You don't have to thank me. If you insist, but I appreciate it nonetheless. I promise you the Speaker will be fine with us, Lloyd. I'm certain you must have a lot weighing on your mind, but you have to keep going. You're right, Cecile. Now isn't the time to lose focus. Promise me you won't worry yourself sick while we're gone. Heh, <laughs> okay Lloyd, it's a promise. I've been pushing through my rehab so I can get back to work and provide for my family. That's pretty much out of the window now that the city has been occupied. I know completely won't change anything. All I can do is keep up my rehab and hope the situation gets better. I was working here on the day of the sang ceremony. It didn't feel real when I heard the city had been occupied. It wasn't until Speaker McDowell was carried in that I understood the gravity of the situation. I'm grateful we have Cecile here to help, but I worry how the hospital is spreading with her. The hospital is short-staffed, and someone needs to keep an eye on Cerrone. I can only hope and pray that Len and the others are managing to keep up with their patients. The clinic was open to primarily help long-term patients complete their rehab. It's also equipped to help people that check in with minor ailments as well, though. Such as Speaker McDowell, for instance. His condition is the most serious among the current patients. But we're more than prepared to treat him, so don't you, you don't need to worry. I'm a surgeon, whereas Lynn specializes in internal medicine and has experience handling supplies as a former army doctor. Rest assured that everyone here is in good hands. Laura and I recently transferred to the clinic. I was on my way to join her at work on the morning of the signing ceremony. By the time I arrived, the city had already been occupied. Talk about good timing, huh? I never dreamed I would someday have Speaker McDowell in my care. Watch out for Supreme Leader Rufus and those soldiers of his, okay? I tripped during the panic to evacuate and was trampled on. I didn't have a plan on where to go once I fled the city anyway, so getting brought to the clinic is sort of a blessing in disguise. Watch out! What the? Where'd that come from? Are we under attack? Don't think so. Nor do I. Take a closer look. Alara, I've never seen anything like this script, though. Looks like an old school style of writing from the East. I'm guessing it's coded. Precisely. I've used this exact code in my work as again before. It says The Dancer and former Zero Child are in our care. Come to this ancient battlefield to the southeast. We await you. Oh. So? A note written in Eastern Code delivered on a kunai meant for Yin. Not hard to figure out who it's from, or who they have in their custody. At least they're both alright. I told you Kia's strong, didn't I? So why would they be looking after Ilya as well? Is something wrong, Lloyd? Wait. You don't think this is... A ransom note, most likely. They wouldn't have waited uh, this long to contact us without a reason. They may be under their care, but that doesn't mean they're safe. No. The ancient battlefield is where a cult has space, right? Can't say I have a good feeling about this, but you're not going to let that stop you, huh? Of course, as long as there's a chance Kia is there, no danger is too great. We'll do whatever it takes to keep her safe. I feel the same way. Not going, as uh, not going simply isn't an option if that's where our loved ones are. That's right. Let's make sure we're fully prepared before we set off. Huh? What's the strange feeling? Con choosing to continue will cause the main story to advance. It will also not be possible to go any further in Lloyd's story for a brief period. I see. This is the cutoff point, huh? And I won't be able to teleport anywhere. 
Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Trails in the Reverie. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.